Good morning everybody, welcome back again to my channel with me Poster Segala Today we gonna talk about simple past and regular and irregular verbs but before we move forward please like subscribe my channel okay um, the first thing that we want to discuss is simple past I believe that all of my students have ever heard about this topic before simple past yeah let's check it out next slide okay look at the chart here okay in learning tenses we know the very basic tenses one the first one is present the second is past and the third is future okay look at the chart here uh, for example we talk about year um, in the present in the present year, for example, I give uh, 2015. So the year, the one year before is 2014. We call this one is simple past. And one year later, 2016, we call it future. So that is uh, the simple way we how we look at these tenses. Okay the using of symbol pass symbol pass express a past action that is now finished so we talk about a, a past activity that is finished there is no correlation with the activity uh, right now in bahasa indonesia we say that menyatakan sesuatu aktivitas atau situasi yang terjadi dengan jelas di masa lampau Jadi kegiatan yang sudah jelas terjadi di masa lampau dan tidak ada lagi kaitannya dengan kegiatan yang sekarang. Oke. Okay. Jadi dia menyatakan suatu aktivitas atau situasi yang terjadi dengan jelas di masa lampau. Right. Let's take a look at for example here. We played football yesterday. I visited Paris in 2013 from the time of uh, from the time signal here we know this is simple past dari keterangan waktunya di sini kita tahu bahwasannya ini sudah uh, termasuk simple past atau kejadiannya telah berlalu yesterday dalam bahasa Indonesia kita sebut apa kemarin ya contohnya sekarang tahun 2020 nah Ini 2013 berarti kejadiannya sudah berlalu. Oke, okay. oke, okay. is it clear for this part? Oke, okay. now we move on to the next slide. Oke, okay. tadi definisinya sudah. Now let's take a look at the verb that used in simple past. Kata kerja yang digunakan dalam simple past. Coba lihat. Contoh yang tadi, we played football yesterday. Look at the verb here. The verb is played. Okay. The second one, I visited Paris in 2013. What is the verb in this sentence? The verb is visited. I have made a red color on this verb in the end of this verb. The best verb is play or emphasis and if we put ed after the verb it will be it will become a past past verb so played and visited okay jadi dalam uh, simple past uh, verb itu berubah menjadi past uh, past verb yeah. for example play become played okay next slide now how we want to form the sentence become affirm become from the affirmative become negative ok 
Okay. In a learning sentence, we can change all the affirmative sentence become negative and interrogative. Affirmative means here kalimat positif ya. Jadi bagaimana kita merubahnya menjadi kalimat negatif? That's really simple ya. Yeah? So that that's really simple. Uh, look at the table here. Okay. This is the subject in English. Yeah. Personal pronoun in English I mean. Okay. The affirmative sentence I take the example here. I finished yesterday. Okay. How we change the sentence become negative? After the subject, we can put the plus not. Atau bisa kita persingkat menjadi didn't. Yeah. Itu sama aja. So, I did not arrive yesterday. Okay. Jadi setelah subjeknya tinggal kita tambah did plus not atau bisa juga disingkat didn't. Okay. Sampai di sini jelas ya. Nah, sekarang kita lanjut. How we change the affirmative sentence become interrogative or question. Okay. The question in the past, in the simple past, is formed with did. Same with the negative one plus not, but here we just put did. Or when we want to ask about the time, we can add wh question when. Okay? Look at the first one here. When did he arrive, for example? When? did he arrive for example the affirmative sentence before so the affirmative uh, sentence before he uh, he arrived yesterday so how we form this one become interrogative so simple when did he arrive or another one did she buy a souvenir? So we start uh, the sentence with did. Jadi kita mulai kalimatnya itu dengan auxiliary did, ya. Dan apa? Dan yang berubah di sini adalah verbnya. Verbnya kembali dia menjadi base verb atau kata kerja dasar. Oke, okay? sama seperti tadi yang di kalimat negatif dia di afirmatifnya itu masih plus id atau masih past verb setelah di negatif dikembali ke uh, kata kerja dasar oke okay. next the second topic we want to talk about regular and regular verbs why we talk this in the same time because it is have a correlation with the simple past how if we want to change the verb become past verb it is uh, there is a correlation with reg with regular and regular verbs now we move on the first one is a regular verb in english we say regular verbs uh, forms it past and past participle by adding ed or ed. Regular verb itu artinya kata kerja beraturan hanya dengan menambahkan ed atau d. For example here, skip become skipped. Cry become cried. Jadi dia kalau regular verb, dia masih beraturan. Kita tinggal tambah ed atau d. Jadi sangat simple ya. Next, this is the chart. Some the example of regular verbs. You can check that here. For example, except, accepted, accepted. Jadi dia beraturan dia polanya nak. Kata kerja dasarnya, kata kerja dasarnya itu tetap hanya kita tambah id atau d. Yang kedua, for example here, agree, agreed, agreed. Okay, you may check that later in the PPT slide, I will 
send it into Google Classroom. Next, we focus to irregular verb. Kalau tadi regular itu beraturan, kalau irregular verb itu tidak beraturan. Yeah. In English, we say an irregular verb is one that does not take the ending for the past simple form, while most irregular verbs change completely. Kalau tadi dia beraturan, nah, kalau sekarang, kata kerjanya itu bisa aja berubah semuanya. For example, buy, become, boat. Some irregular verbs does do not change. Dan beberapa kata kerja yang tidak beraturan bahkan tidak berubah sama sekali. Ya. For example, here, put, put. Okay? That's why we call this one irregular verbs Karena dia polanya tidak tetap bisa berubah-ubah This is the example of irregular verbs you may see in this chart Okay, for example, sleep become slept, slept Wear, wore, worn Win, won, won Okay, you may check that later again Okay, now I think that's all our topic for Today talking about the first one we talk we have talked about simple past and the second one we talk about regular and irregular verbs. I hope you can understand our topic for today. See you in the next meeting. Goodbye.